ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارham ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد my brothers and sisters may Allah guide us all the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in a hadith which is sahih and authentic خير يوم تلعد فيه الشمس يوم الجمعه the best day that the sun rises on is the day of Jumu'ah. Later on in that hadith, he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, from the virtues of this day, as to why it's from the best days, وَفِيهِ سَاءَةٌ لَا يُسَادِفُهَا مُؤْمِنٌ There is an hour, but there is not a believer. وَهُوَ فِي الصَّلَةِ And he is praying and worshipping Allah. He has iman. He is worshipping Allah. يَسْأَلُهُ الله فيها شيئا. And then he mixes all of that with dua and asking Allah for something. Except that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give him that thing that he is asking for. In another narration, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gestured with his hand. He gestured with his hand and he showed that there isn't a long time for that hour to have your du'a to be accepted. My brothers and sisters, may Allah accept our du'a and he makes us of those people who stand sincerely for him, supplicating to him. The ulama have mentioned that this hadith refers to the Jumu'ah in its entirety. The day of Jumu'ah, from the beginning of it to the end of it. And the reason why is because that hour has been left hidden. And the Messenger of Allah sallallahu in this hadith didn't specify. Therefore, the ulama have mentioned that because it has been left ambiguous, it is an indication for us to work hard throughout the day, trying to find that hour. So the night before Jumu'ah, the person increases in dua and dhikr. From Fajr on the day of Jumu'ah, before the khutbah on the day of Jumu'ah, Ash-Shirbini rahimahullah said that at the time of the salaf, the pavements used to be filled with people coming to the masjid in the morning at Fajr time. They used to come out while it was still dark and they used to come out with their lanterns heading towards the masjid to begin worshipping Allah, seeking that hour. And then during the khutbah, when the Imam stands and delivers the message and supplicates, this is also a time when the dua could be accepted. Famous companion Abu Musa al-Ashari radiallahu anh, he said, He ma bayna an yajlis al-imam. This hour that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was talking about when the dua is going to be accepted on Friday is when the imam comes out and he sits on the member and he is delivering the message illa an tuqda salat until the salah has been completely finished that is the time and that is the hour when the dua of the mu'min will be accepted from Allah. But also after the khutbah Ar-Raqib bin Malik al-Shami rahimahullah atabi after Salat al Jumu'ah, after everyone has left the masjid, he used to stand at the door and he used to supplicate to Allah. He used to say, Allahumma inni ajabtu da'watak. Oh Allah, I have responded to your call to come to the Salat. Wasalaytu farduk, and I have offered your obligatory prayers as you have commanded me. Went to show to kama amartani, and now I am dispersing on the land as you have told me to do. فَرُزُقْنِي مِنْ فضلك. So provide me from your abundance وَأَنْتَ خَيْرُ الرَّازِقِينَ And you are the best of those who provide. During the khutbah, after the khutbah, until 
the time for Asr begins. All of this is the time for Dua. And then the person prays Salat al-Asr. And after Salat al-Asr, until the day of Jumu'ah is going to end at Maghrib, the person, the believer who is sincere and wants to seek what is with Allah, beseeches him and calls on to him alone. And the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us something which is very important. That the end of an act of worship is sometimes the most virtuous. So he says sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, after saying that the whole of Jumu'ah is a day which is blessed, it is the best day that the sun rises itself on. And in a separate hadith he says sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, seek this hour for tamisuha akhir sa'ah, seek it in the last hours of the day, ba'da salat al-asr, after salat al-asr until maghrib. Worshipping Allah, making dua to Him, making dhikr of Him, reciting His words and asking Him for whatever it is you want from the dunya and the akhirah for yourself and the loved ones and the Muslim ummah it is a time when your dua will be accepted Ibn Qayyim rahimahullah said فَكِلَاهُمَا سَعَى إِجَابَ فَكِلَاهُمَا سَعَى إِجَابَ During the Salat al-Jumu'ah and after the Salat al-Asr all of it is the time when your dua is going to be accepted وَإِنْ كَانَ السَّاعَةُ الْمَقْصُوصَةُ هِيَ آخِرُ السَّاعَةُ بَعْدَ الْعَصْرُ However, the emphasis lies in after Salat al-Asr. Hence, in the Salaf, my brothers and sisters, we have the best of guidance. Abu Salama ibn Abdul Rahman, he said, فَتَفَرَّقُوا وَلَمْ يَخْتَلِفُوا The companions, رضي الله عنهم, after Salat al-Asr, on a Friday, they used to isolate themselves. آخر ساعة من يوم الجمعة in the last hour of يوم الجمعة they didn't talk to people they didn't mix with people they didn't engage in the dunya this was the time when they dedicated for being alone with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah gave to them what he gave to them Tawus ibn Kaysan rahimahullah a famous tabi he would dedicate just like the companions that came before him this time of the day in this part of the week to supplicate to Allah and he was sincere. He was a believer. He saw what was with Allah as the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us in the hadith. And Allah accepted from him and how he accepted. His son, Dawus's son, he said, Mata Abi, my father passed away, Fi Kana In a time that he used to love the most throughout the week. Mata Abi, Yawmul Jumu'ah, Ba'd al Asr. My father passed away on the day of Jumu'ah after Salat al-Asr. The day and the time when he used to dedicate to being alone with Allah, that is the time when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took him. My brothers and sisters, may Allah make us of them. There is none that has a need except that he has a need from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Every single one of us has an issue that they need resolving and the resolution is with your master. And sometimes you feel that all hope is gone. So realize, my brothers and sisters, that relief can only come about when you cut yourself away from the creation and you beseech only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In the Salaf, we have another example. There was a man from the Salaf, a worshipper, a alim, an example. His name was As-Salt ibn Bustam. As-Salt, rahimahullah, used to worship Allah a great deal. And it is no surprise that every Jumu'ah after Salat al-Asr, he used to isolate himself in the way that the Salaf, the way that the companions used to. And he used to make dua. And he used to engage in worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with devotion throughout his life at that time. Towards the end of his life, rahimahullah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tested him by taking away his eyesight. Salt, rahimahullah, became blind. One Jumu'ah, he is there making dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala after Salat al-Asr. And just before Salat al-Maghrib, the narrator says, Atasa atta. He sneezed. Faraja'a basar. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala returned for him his eyesight. Even with all the advancements today, this seems highly unlikely, almost impossible. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is your Lord and He is able to do all things. My brothers and sisters, may Allah aid us and the Ummah. 
When you have been given an appointment, you make sure you are early. You make sure that you are there. Every single one of us have an appointment with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of judgment, on the day of Jumu'ah. Every single one of us have an appointment with Allah on the day of Jumu'ah. If you are there and you are sincere, there is a chance that you will be successful. But if you have an appointment with your Lord and you don't show up, what success is there in the dunya? If you are successful in that appointment, there is a good chance that there is success in Jannah. We have narrations from the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that on the day of Jumu'ah in Jannah there will be another appointment. Every single Jumu'ah in Jannah Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala will call out to the inhabitant of Jannah that you have an appointment with him, an appointment which you will relish. So you will hasten on the day of Jumu'ah to meet this appointment that you have with your Lord and you will see him and you will seek and see his noble face but that can only come about if you have an attachment with him and you take his appointment seriously in the dunya Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us and promises us وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ إِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ I am close وَجِيبُ دَعْوَةِ الدَّعِي إِذَا دَعَانِ فَلْيَسْتَجِيبُ لِي Seek a response from me وَلْيُؤْمِنُوا بِي and have belief in me لَأَلَّهُمْ يَرْشُدُونَ so that you will be guided بارك الله لي ولكم في القرآن العظيم ونفعني وإياكم بما فيه من الآيات وذكر الحكيم أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم ولجميع المسلمين فاستغفروا وتوبوا إلي إنه هو الغفور الرحيم استغفر Alhamdulillah Wa ashadu an la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lah Wa ashadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasoolah Amma ba'd, my brothers and sisters May Allah make us of those who he accepts from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves to be supplicated to But there are conditions to have your dua accepted from him Subhanahu wa ta'ala And from the dua of Yunus Alayhi salam and the dua of Nuh alayhi salam and the dua of the Anbiya and the Rusul we can understand that there are certain conditions that need to be met in order for your dua to be accepted number one from them my brothers and sisters is al-ikhlas and tawheed worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sincerely and seeking what is with him alone and not having any intermediaries and not seeking the creation seeking what is with Allah and not with what is with a saint Seeking what is with Allah and not with what is with a person in a grave. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone because he is sufficient for you. Second condition, iman and piety. Telling Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that I am obedient to you. And if you are not obedient, that you will be obedient from now on. These are from the conditions to have your dua accepted. Number three, if you have made mistakes, and we all make mistakes, my brothers and sisters, that you make tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and he knows what is hidden and he knows what is apparent, you make it clear to him that now you will leave off all forms of disobedience. Tawbah to Allah creates humility. Tawbah to Allah shows desperation. Fanada fi dhulumat. So he called out in the darkness, and la ilaha illa and Tawbah from Yunus alayhi salam فَاسْتَجَبْنَا لَهُ وَنَجَّيْنَاهُ مِنَ الْغَمْ So we responded to his dua and we took him away from his sadness وَكَذَلِكَ نُنْجِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ And this is how we bring salvation to the believers. Fourth condition, having sabr, not hurrying a response from Allah knowing that what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, has decreed is get greater and better than what you are asking for. So be patient. And condition number five, not to be too detailed. Rather, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in general terms. Ask Allah to guide you. Ask Allah to grant you good. Ask Allah to grant you good provisions. Ask Allah to give you good companions. Ask Allah to rectify your affairs. Ask Allah for his jannah and a salvation from the hellfire, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in general terms and do not be too detailed. 
My brothers and sisters, dua is, connect, is a connection between you and Allah. And the more you depend on the creation, it will only irritate them. And you will realize that they will not be able to help you. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves to be asked. And if you ask him a lot, he, the more he loves you. And he will not annoy him. And when he answers, he will give. And he loves to give. Because he loves to show you that he is able to do all things. My brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded that we make dua for our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Inna Allah wa malaikatuhu yusalluna ala nabi. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu, sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima. Allahumma salli wa sallim wa zid wa barik ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Oh Allah, we ask you because we have none to ask you except you. You have commanded us, so we have followed. And you have promised us, so give us. Oh Allah, we have none but you except. We have none to ask except you. Oh Allah, teach us for what is good for us and remove from us from our ignorance and our mistakes. Help us to develop and be pleased with us. Oh Allah, guide us and our loved ones. Oh Allah, protect us and keep us firm. Oh Allah, teach us on how to supplicate to you in the way that you are pleased with. Oh Allah, answer our call. Oh Allah, answer our dua. Oh Allah, accept our ibadat and give us what is good and remove from us what is harmful. Make us of those who worship you sincerely, ever returning back to you, pious slaves, Ya Rabbana Alameen. O oh Allah, keep us firm upon Islam. O oh Allah, we ask you for your Jannah. O oh Allah, we ask you for your Jannah. O oh Allah, we ask you for your Jannah and the actions and the statements of the people of Jannah. O oh Allah, we seek refuge from your anger and your punishment and your humiliation and your fire. O oh Allah, we seek refuge in you from you and seek refuge in you from the actions and the statements of the people of the fire. O oh Allah, help the Muslims wherever they may be. O oh Allah, there are people that have passed away, so have mercy on them. There are people that are sick, so cure them. O oh Allah, there are people that are young, so guide them. And there are people that need your help, so assist them. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina adhab al-nar. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati ama yasifun. Wa salamun ala al-mursaleen. Wa akhiru da'wana. Anilhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.